كما جاء بقولهم like some of the Sahaba used to say لبيك 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 إله الحق لبيك وسعديك وغير هذا كل شيء ثبت عن النبي عليه الصلاة والسلام والصحابة رضو الله عليهم من التلبية يصح أن نلبي به وإن التزم تلبية النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم فهذا الذي جاء عنه عليه الصلاة والسلام نعم So every form of talbiya, the various different different wordings of talbiya that has, have been narrated by the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam or the companions, then a person can do any of these. فَإِذَا وَصَلْ إِلَى مَكَّةِ And once the person reaches Mecca, الْأَوْلَى أَنُّ يَبْدَأْ أَوَّلْ مَا يَبْدَأْ بِهِ يَبْدَأْ بِالطَّوَافِ then, yeah. the, then the first thing that a person starts with as soon as he comes into Mecca is to make the tawaf. وَإِنْ ذهب إلى الفندق وضع فيه الأغراض أو كان متعب أو يعني تناول شيء من الطعام أو شيء غير هذا هذا لا إشكال فيه نعم. And if a person prefers to go back to the hotel, he's tired, he takes a rest, he wants to eat something, he wants to leave his luggage there, then there's no problem in this. نعم. فإذا دخل إلى 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 المسجد الحرام قطع التلبية الآن. نعم. And as soon as person enters into Masjid al-Haram in Mecca, then his talbiya stops. And the first thing that he begins with is the tawaf. And the statement فلهن يصلي ركعتين ويجلس ولا إشكال. نعم. and there are some people who when they enter into Masjid al-Haram they say تحية بيت تحية بيت الحرام. like as if it's some type of a statement welcoming or entering into the بيت الحرام the Masjid al-Haram. the تحية the entering into the Masjid al-Haram is like entering to any other Masjid. a person he prays تحية المسجد the two rakaat for entering into the masjid and then he does the rest of his actions. قبل أن يبدأ بالطواف يضع طرف رداءه من تحت إبطه الأيمن طرف الرداء من تحت إبطه الأيمن ويجعل طرفه على كتفه الأيسر. نعم. Before a person starts to make the tawaf, then the right side of his ihram he puts it under his armpit and above and above like this on this side meaning he uncovers his right shoulder and he covers his left shoulder and whilst a person is in the state of the ihram he can wear a watch he can wear glasses also a belt and even a bag he can wear a bag like a pouch there's nothing wrong with any of this the problem is in a person wearing those garments which are knitted those garments which are knitted around the, the limbs of a person so for example shirts trousers pajamas t-shirts also a hat or a scarf. يجعل البيت عن يساره. A person he walks such that the كعبة is on his left hand side. هذا في الطواف لا بد أن يكون البيت عن يساره. So in the tawaf, then the كعبة has to be on the left hand side. بعض الناس هدان الله إياه يعني يكون معهم نساء فيتق يكون واحد أمام النساء واحد من خلفهم واحد عن يمينه واحد عن شماله. فهذا الذي عن الشمال مستدبر البيت والذي عن اليمين مستقبل البيت والذي في الأمام يجعل البيت عن يمينه وهذا كله لا يصح لا بد أن يكون البيت عن يش عن يساره نعم some people what they do is when they have a number of women with them there'll be one person stands on the stands at the front facing them there'll be another person stands on the right hand side facing the women another person standing on the left hand side facing the women are like this so the one who is at the front, now the Kaaba is on his right hand side. The one who is on the side, the Kaaba is in front of him. The one who is on the other side, the Kaaba is behind him. So all of this is incorrect. Rather, as mentioned, the Kaaba has to be on the left hand side of every person. If a person is able to go kiss the black stone, he does so. If he can't, then he points towards it. And he says, Bismillah, Bismillah, Allahu Akbar. 
ثم في الثلاثة أشواط الأولى يسرع من المشي يعني أسرع من المشي لكن دون الهرولة نعم And then in the first three times a person makes tawaf the first three tawafs a person walks quickly so quicker than walking but not jogging نعم أجعل خطاة متقاربة نعم And whilst he's doing so his uh, footsteps or his steps should be close to each other إن استطاع if he is able to do so ثلاثة أشواط Only for three times of making tawaf. يكثر في طوافه من ذكر الله سبحانه وتعالى. And whilst he's making tawaf, he mentions Allah a lot. قراءة القرآن. Recites Allah, uh, recites the Quran. الصلاة على النبي عليه الصلاة والسلام. Sending peace and salutations upon our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, seeking forgiveness and repentance. التحميد, التهليل, التكبير. Praising Allah, saying Subhanallah, Allahu Akbar. ولم يثبت عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم دعاء خاص في الأشواط على ما نرى في بعض الكتب. نعم. And that which we see in the books that people have specific du'as and specific remembrances for making the tawaf, then none of this has been narrated or established upon the authority of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم. إلا ما جاء بين الحجر الأسود والركن اليماني يقول ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة. وقنا عذاب النار ولا يزيد لأن هذا الذي جاء في القرآن نعم The only exception in this is that a person says between the Yemeni corner and the Hajjal Aswad the corner where the Hajjal Aswad is a person says ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار and he doesn't increase anything on top of this because this is from the Quran نعم البيت له ركن فيه الحجر الأسود والركن الثاني فيه يقال أن الركن اليماني يعني هذا جهة اليمن وهذا جهة الشام أما من الجهة الأخرى الأركان هنا عليها مثل شبه نصف الدائرة نعم The Kaaba it has a corner where the Hajar al-Aswad is and this is pointing towards Sham it has a corner which is called Rukn al-Yamani the Yemeni corner because this is the corner that points towards Yemen and on the other two uh, p- uh, corners there is a, c- a, c- a c- like a circular wall half of a circular wall نعم فلا بد أن يكون من خارج الدائرة الطواف ولو دخل من داخل هذا هذه الدائرة فطواف باطل نعم so when a person is making the tawaf he has to make sure that he makes tawaf around the outside of this semicircle or the extra wall if a person makes tawaf inside this area then that one time you made tawaf then this is incorrect and invalid يبتدئ من الحجر الأسود a person starts from the hajr al-aswad إلى الحجر الأسود مرة أخرى هذا شوط and then he goes all the way down around to hajr al-aswad again and this is one tawaf that he has made لا يشرع عند الركن اليماني إلا المسح عليه إن مسح عليه استطاع مسح عليه وإلا فلا تكبير ولا إشارة نعم ولا تقبيل كذلك in terms of in terms of uh, the Yemeni corner, then the only thing which has been established is that a person should go and try to touch it. A person tries to touch it with his right hand. If he can do so, this is good. If he doesn't do so, then a person, person doesn't have to raise his hand or say Bismillah Allahu Akbar or make takbir, none of this. كما يصنع بعض الجهال هدانا الله من التمسح بالكعبة وأخذ شيء من الملابس ويمسح بها في الكعبة هذا الحجر الأسود حجر لا يضر ولا ينفع ونحن نتبرك فقط باتباع هدي النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم بتقبيل هذا الحجر وإلا فهو حجر من الأحجار نعم And we don't do as some of the ignorant people do that they go and they start wiping the Kaaba, the other sides of the Kaaba, they take the clothes and they try to wipe the Kaaba and they think that this is a blessing in it. Rather, the Hajar Aswad, the black stone, even this, it's only a stone. And neither does it harm, nor does it benefit. We seek blessings in the black stone. How? Not because the black stone itself, but through following the guidance of the Prophet wasallam in touching it or kissing it. Fikul. ما ي... كل ما يأتي عند الحجر الأسود يشير إليه وقل بسم الله والله أكبر نعم Every time a person comes towards the hajr al-aswad <coughs> then he points at it again and he says بسم الله الله أكبر فإذا انتهى من الأشواط السبعة Once a person has finished 
from making the dwarf seven, seven units. إذا انتهى لا يكبر في نهاية الشوط السابع عند الحجر الأسود. نعم. Then when he has finished the seventh time, he doesn't say Bismillah, Allahu Akbar again. ولا إشارة. And neither does he point towards it. يخرج عن مكان الطواف إلى مثلا أعلى الطابق الأول أو الثاني أو كذا ويجعل أمامه مقام إبراهيم عليه الصلاة والسلام ويصلي ركعتين لكن لا يصلي ركعتين في أماكن طواف الناس نعم And then after this a person he goes back he can go far back and go to the first floor or the second floor and then he recites two uh, then he prays two rak'ats of prayer but he doesn't pray these two rak'ats in the middle of the people where people are making tawaf نعم يغطي من كبيه and now a person he covers both of his shoulders يصلي ركعتين he prays two rak'atain يقرأ في الأولى بعد الفاتحة قل يا أيها الكافرون so وفي الثانية بعد الفاتحة قل هو الله أحد he prays two rak'at uh, in the first rak'a he pray, he recites قل يا أيها الكافرون after reciting surah al-fatiha in the second rak'a he recites surah al-ikhlas after reciting surah al-fatiha هذه الركعتين سنة الطواف so these two rak'at are the sunnah of tawaf. ثم ينطلق إلى الصفا. And then after this, he moves on towards الصفا, the mount الصفا. ال الص عندما يخرج مثلا من هنا من الحجر الأسود يأخذ ذات اليمين قليلا وبهذا يصعد على الصفا. نعم. Once a person wants to leave uh, the hajj al-aswad, he goes slightly towards the right, and then he walks, and then he walks further on, and he will go to hajr al-aswad. يصعد على الصفا. So a person he climbs a الصفا. الآن حد الصفا وحد المروة المنتصف الذي فيه ممر العربات. أما ما هو زائد من صعود الجبل أو هذا الدوران الذي يكون في الصفا أو في المروة هذا يعني لا يأتي ويدور حوله لا حول هذا ولا حول هذا. نهاية حد المنتصف هذا الذي فيه حد العربات هذا هو بداية الصفا وبداية المروة نعم In terms of how long الصفا and المروة are or how big they are or how wide they are then you'll have seen the passage where the wheelchairs go So the passage where the wheelchairs go this is where الصفا and المروة both end in terms of how wide they are So a person doesn't have to go all around الصفا and المروة or climb all the way to the top or if you go upstairs there's a big circular boundary you have to go all the way around as long as a person reaches this point